There you are. I was waiting for you. So, thank you. Welcome to Majesty Sussex Report After Dark. So, what do you think? What do you think about the, the setup, the, the new set design? You like it? I'm happy. If you don't, well, knowing me, I'll change it again in a few weeks or something because I get bored of these sets very quickly. Um, anyways, there's still some things that doesn't seem very, I don't know. I'm going to tweak it a little bit more, I, I think. But for now, this is what we've got. I like this sort of, is it umber? Is that a, co a color? Umber or is it brown? Anyways, I like that kind of shade. It looks cool, I think. Anyways. I'm Antonio, and thank you for spending some of your valuable time with us, whether you're watching, listening, however, and doesn't matter what time of the day. Thank you for your support. So, have you folks seen the um, Polo promo from Netflix? Get close. So, when I saw it, I got so excited. Like, literally, I got so excited. I was like, this is going to be, like, so amazing. Because it's a world that many of us don't really know, right? I've never played polo. I've never been interested in polo. Um, so the way it's sort of the docuseries is being set up, it's, it's, it's taking us on these journeys, right? Uh, uh, and telling stories and that's the part that I like. I, I like even the part of, of family dynamics and pressure of legacy and 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 status and, and and glory and and all of that. So it's gonna give us some really you know insight into that into that world. So I'm excited. So I'm going to show it I've edited a little bit so we don't get ding. Um, here is the best I could show to you, okay? Hope you enjoy. Imagine going on a horse at 35 miles an hour with someone coming at you at full speed. The adrenaline that goes through your body, it's addicting. Polo is not just a sport. Polo is a lifestyle. We eat, we breathe, we sleep. Polo. For sure it's glamorous. It's a sexy sport too. Dirty, sweaty boys riding. <laughs> the best players in the world come to Wellington to compete in the US Open. There's a lot of competition. Everybody is fighting for themselves. This year, the big story, the father-son duo. They're playing against each other. I want to win against my dad. I can say that I've been the greatest in the sport. I'm very proud of my son, but I tried to beat him. I think it's healthy to have somewhat of a personal life outside of being an athlete. Timmy is extremely charming. His looks are what they are. It's a distraction. Duda cuts the ball back at the goal. Stupid play. My father, he's the team owner and coaches us sometimes. I don't like to hear him criticize Timmy. Timmy! Too many handoffs didn't go well. The transitions were not right. The we fouled too much today. Is too to many make times. this kid better. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Polo can take a toll on your family, and that's no secret. I started traveling back and forth to Argentina twice a week. When do you come back? I don't know. You can't do that when someone is pregnant. I have put more at stake this season than I ever have in the past. <laughs> the Cambiasos have a huge target on their back because they always win. How can you not want to beat them? whole bunch of dangerous things that can happen. It's not a motorized vehicle, it's not a car. It's a 1200 pound animal. Every day we have to move forward. I'll do whatever I have to, because at the end of the day, I have to win. Get out! Buckle up folks, it's only gonna get better from here. When you crank it up to 11, you can't hold on. All right, so what do you think? What do you think? I'm, I, I am literally, um, in, in, in anxiousness to find out what you folks think. And so do, do please um, leave a message, leave a comment um, so I can give it a read. I am excited for this. Really, 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 really excited because I really do think knowing how the Sussexes work, 
I think there's going to be just beautiful storytelling. And the way they have already uh, packaged this um, promo, you, you already start to get the hype, right? And you get to see the rivalry and, and family complications and all of that. And that's what makes this stuff really, really rich. What I find, and I couldn't find the article and I really wanted to, but I had read a few weeks ago when um, the tabloid press had decided that one of their uh, invented stories was going to be that Netflix was extremely dissatisfied with Prince Harry because they thought that the um, Polo documentary was going to be featuring heavily um, Prince Harry. I'm thinking, do you think Netflix is a bunch of idiots that work there? I think not, right? Like, on a contract like that, like, I'm sure they have specified, here, here is how we're going to tell the story. This is what the show is going to be about, right? And, I, and the, the author wrote, uh, according to their sources, um, a person named Nacho Figueroa is going to be featured heavily. And they're like, who, who's even that person? And I just thought, oh my, there, they, there it is. There it is. They write about stuff they know nothing about. They just w- w- want to give you know more digs to the Sussexes. And, and they're writing about things they have no information on. So it was just very laughable. I tried to find the article um, so I can post it so you folks can see. And I, I just couldn't. If I find it again in another day or something, I will post it um, and we'll, we'll give it a quick, a quick read because it was, it was quite funny. Um, yeah, so I, I think this is going to be just freaking great. Freaking great. Well, how lucky are we? I just found it. So let's get into it immediately. It's written by Charlotte Griffin, the same one who's on Palace Confidential uh, with Becky. And it reads, when Netflix signed an 80 million pound deal with Prince Harry, executives might have hoped for lots of exclusive personal footage. But his new five-part documentary series about Polo hardly features the Duke at all. I can reveal, instead, it focuses on his friend, Nacho Figuera, uh, Fi- Figueras, uh, a, l- <laughs> a little-known Argentinian player. <laughs> oh, that, is, that is what makes me laugh. Uh, you can just Google the, the guy. You'll know he's not just some li- little unknown Argentinian player. Freaking idiot. A source last night claimed Netflix bosses have been disappointed with just how much the final edit focuses on the unknown saying this streaming giant expected more bang for their buck so, um, though their com- through, through their company archwell harry and his wife and his wife megan are executive producers of the series title simply polo and due out in december but behind the scenes it has been nicknamed the Nacho Show. Ta-da! And then she had the audacity to also say the following. Um, let me just scroll down here a little bit. A source said it was nice of Harry to do his mate, Nacho, figured in this picture with, um, with Elsa uh, Patowski. A favor, but Nacho speaks broken English and is just not mainstream enough to pull in the ratings. Not only racist, and I mean, I mean, Nacho is, is Argentinian, like Latino white, right? So, but the the, 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 the sort of racism that even what's wrong with these people. Like, what is wrong with them? Like, she literally wrote this article. None of it is true, right? Because it doesn't center around Nacho. From the promo, at least, we can see it centers around um, the championship, uh, uh, different families, 
uh, or, or, or different teams that are actually vying for the 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 um, win, and that's what the story is about. And it's, <laughs> but hey, she needed to say something about bad about Harry and Meghan and about their Netflix deal. Just so stupid, absolutely stupid. I was li- listening to her today talk about on Palace Confidential. Um, she said, "Well, you know." Um, um, it is quite amazing to me that Meghan Markle is really shown how much she has taken several pegs down the road. I'm like, did she just say peg? And, and she's talking with the wrong person because pegging and Meghan Markle does not go in the same sentence, darling. It just doesn't. I think you have people confused. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's Meghan, you see. She, she was at, at, at a launch, and, and I must say once again, they were, they, they were separate, you know, Harry was solo, and Meghan was solo in, 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 uh, in, in somewhere over there in Montesato, California, and it, uh, she was promoting some kind of hair product, you know, hair product, yeah, it, I mean, absolutely horrible for her I, I, I guess she was I guess she was helping a friend or something does she have friends at all I didn't think she had any at all so this idiot pardon my English this idiot pardon my labeling went along to say that Megan um, <laughs> basically to say she, she's doing things that are so beneath um, her status and that she expected more of Megan and she can't believe Megan is out there trying to sell like um, hair products. It shows you how much they do not know. And even when the information is out there for proper consumption to be delivered with the truth, they still choose to lie. They still choose to invent things. I mean, what could be more greater than to invest in a company that, or, or a product that you see the potential in it, right? And, and, and you're able to support women, minority women. I mean, I don't think they would get it though. They just, they just don't get it. They are just absolutely void of any essence, any essence of 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 of, of in intellectual uh, curiosity, of understanding culture and relationships and people. They just are a a a, a vessel of nothing. All they've got in there is just rot rot to the core what a bunch of freaking idiots now with that said (laughs) let's see let's see what you folks um, uh, wrote in the comments yesterday it's a walking miracle you you're looking at a miracle right now and so am i Hmm. because for each generation of people that had to survive all the things that they had to survive that made it possible for us to even be born. We are a miraculous people, each and every one of us. So if I was an ancestor, I would remind that baby first, if they didn't already know, you, your whole existence is a miracle. You have this unique set of capabilities, mind, physical form, all these things. You have this one life right here. Don't waste it. Don't waste it thinking about what other people are perceiving you to be. Just like really get get in here, acknowledge and accept that you are a miraculous human being and you deserve to go live out your potential. All right. And I'd like to start by saying thank you. Thank you for taking the time to um, write, write a note or um, just add emojis, all of that. Um, listen, folks. Uh, all of that helps with the algorithm. I do not like 
this algorithm thing, I think it's just, anyways, let's not get into that discussion. But, and the reason why we consistently ask, you know, to give some thumbs up and, and, and leave um, a comment and um, sort of interact with the channel is that it tells the algorithm that people are interested in subject matter and the channel. So it still keeps it um, at a certain level. If it sees that it, there's no interaction or anyone watching um, the the um, content, it, it starts to bury your channel. So it starts to show the channel to less and less people. So an example is when this episode is uploaded. So the first, I, I, I think it's either 10 minutes or something like, like that. So when you get your notification, so it will look at those first, first 10 minutes and see if the people who are already members and have received a, a notification, if they will go and watch what, what, what the content is. And it also evaluates how long they stay. Um, and that basically tells the algorithm whether the content that the creator just did was interesting or not. And if it sees that a majority of people did not either go to, to, to watch the product, to watch the um, episode or stayed uh, at, at least half to watch half of it, it's, it, it then would, will curtail how many more people uh, it will show the uh, episode to. So if, if I say no one watches it within the first 10 minutes, then it will not promote the episode, right? But if people do watch it, thumbs up, all that kind of stuff, it, then it basically tells the algorithm, oh, well, these 10 people who are subscribers, they liked it and they were, they're, they're watching it. So let's, let's send it to, to, to 10 more people, right? And it, it will make it for 10 more people to get it, watch it. And those, those likely are people who are not um, subscribers. All right long-winded explanation that no one asked for <laughs> anyways let's see what wonderful things you folks uh, said and we start with um sharon agustin sharon mwah, thank you for um leaving comments and always being a positive beautiful soul thank you very 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 much and thank you um to you back um sharon actually said thank you antonio with some beautiful emojis, heart and thumbs up and um, and 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 prayer and all of that. So it's all good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next is at five tk l three nine seven. I wonder if that's a word or just like randomly you picked letters and and a number. At five tk l five tk l five tk l five tk five tk l. Is that it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, um, you said, love your podcast. Once again, amazing. Happy uh, upcoming holiday season to you, Sussex family, squaddies, and Sussex um, fr uh, friendies. That is beautiful. Thank you. And same uh, to you also. And yeah, to, to, to this incredible community. As the, the sort of Thanksgiving is approaching next week, and then after Thanksgiving, it's right into the um, holiday season. And for everyone, I'm just going to say it now. You know, it could be very stressful for some people, but also very lonely for some people. Reach out, reach out, and 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 create the atmosphere you want. It could be with, with, with friends, it, it, could, it could be with neighbors, it, it, right? And if you don't want to do any of that, just, just do things that are going to make you happy. And that is my motto um, or part, part of it that I am, when I find myself in, in a certain place, I'm like, okay, listen, because <laughs> I talk to myself a lot. I'm like, listen, um, this is not bringing you any joy or it's not, um, getting you out of this way you're feeling. So what should we do? Let's go for a walk, right? And let's listen to something funny. Oh, let's, um, 
watch something educational. So, you know, I honestly think our happiness is in our hands. Okay. All right. No one asked me for that advice, but there you go. <laughs> Next is Suzy Q. Suzy Q. Uh, Suzy Q, I hope you're doing great. Uh, you said, thanks, Antonio, for this amazing video. I have to tip my heart, my, my hat to the legendar legendary Prince Harry and Princess Meghan because they are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Is there a song, A Phenomenal Woman, A Woman Phenomenal? I think by Alicia Keys. I'm not sure. But that's, that, that's in my head for some reason. Uh, continuing, you, you notice KKKK and uh, WikiLeaks are trying to be like the Sussexes. Princess Megan is barely seen KKK doing the same thing. WikiLeaks coming up with Beard, although his looks like a garbage and... <laughs> <gasps> Suzy Q. <laughs> okay, so his look like a garbage and musky. Um, Prince Harry and Princess Megan all. Um, let me expand this here. Okay, so Prince Harry and Princess Megan all the way. Suzy Q. Suzy Q. Suzy Q. Put your hands up. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, I just love it. I love it. I, I listen, I, okay. I was going to say something else. And for some reason, something else came into my, to my head. And I think I'm going to say that, that one instead. Something is not right. Something is not right. We all know it. We all sense it. We all have this, 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 this gut feeling. And something is not right with William. I honestly believe that that rapid, rapid um, loss of weight and like it's not like he was working out because that is not like if he, if he was working out, it, 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 would, it, would, it would look differently. This is someone who lost a, a, a quite rapidly a lot of weight, and it could be several things: stress, not eating. He could be on medication. Um, so there is something going on, and I don't know what it is, but I will say this: since. And I'm just using this as a marker. Since that incident with Kingston, and you all know who I'm talking about, where um, Prince William did not attend the service for King Constantine, his godfather, and the tabloid press, without anyone asking them, they included the statement that said, and Prince William had nothing to do with the death of Kingston. No one asked, but they volunteered that. You make what you want to make of it, but I truly believe something is not okay with him. And as much as everything else, there is a certain amount, I'm, I'll be honest, it's just, it's just who I am. There, 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 there's, there's a little bit of sadness that I feel for him. Because I think he has gotten so much in his way, into his own way. He has relied on, I think, entities and people that don't want his best interest at all. Whatever his his ego or his behavior and attitudes are, you know, that it's, it's too bad that that's the person he is. Because I, read and spare and, and, and listening to Prince Harry speak about his brother. He loves his brother. He loves his brother. 
He just wants good for his brother. And to think that William does not return that. It's, 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 it almost breaks your heart to think that Princess Diana's son, eldest son, is, is sort of like a stone angel, just, just heartless in some ways. And it almost seems like all of that stuff is eating him up and not in a good way. And I, I, I'm telling you, like, he looks like he's on medication, right? And as I said, that whole incident, it, they have not explained it properly yet, even though the case is closed, right? I'm going to leave it there. Susie Q, you see the conversation now you started? <laughs> Thank you. Um, Sharon A. Smith. Thank you for being a member. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your input, your advice, all of it. And your comment is wonderful as always, Antonio. Ah, stop it. Um, thank you, thank you. We try. We try to do the best we can at any given time and to be um, good people and put in good work and bring to you folks. Sometimes some interesting things and other times fillers, even though I, I find all of it interesting, but <laughs> I don't expect you folks to. And okay, so Shirley, Shirley O, Shirley O, thank you very much, um, says, love your montage. So do I, thank you. Uh, and uh, are you talking about the beginning of the intro, sort of, of the um, episode? Yeah. You know, I, I, I like the whole New Orleans, jazzy, saxophone, late night kind of thing. You know, I picture myself in like a black and white movie and I'm walking the streets with a pipe. <laughs> what am I doing with a pipe? <laughs> Put it in your pipe and smoke it. Um, anyway, so let's not, let's, let's, let's not walk that, that road of like my imagination. But thank you so very much. Next, we've got Beverly Makarska. Beverly said, um, you have done it again. What did I do? Ooh, you did it again. I didn't. And then she says, thanks a lot. <laughs> Beverly, thank you. Thank you for being you, for commenting um, and being consistent. Um, actually, everyone here, thank you so very much for being consistent and leaving comments and so on. I really appreciate it. And Beverly, Beverly, every time I see your um, handle or your name, because I had a teacher in high school um, whose last name is McCaskill. Uh, I'm not going to say his first name. And I, w I remember so well, I was so intimidated by this man, like intimidated. And, uh, you know, he was tall and, and, and just spoke with a very low voice, I guess. And if, <laughs> I don't know, listen, I was just intimidated. And I remember, like, was it like a, after three weeks or a month or something, I'd written an essay and I didn't quite, um, I was using watch like to watch a movie and to see someone i was using it incorrectly so i went up to him because he had given me a certain mark and i i you know i wanted to advocate for myself because i was like i don't know i understand why it's different so i went up and i was like but why is this different and he explained and i went oh okay okay i get it i get it now he's like all right i was like would you still change my marks because i don't like getting bees <laughs> yeah i didn't like getting bees i was like what what do you mean is what do you mean is a bee what's that what's what's a bee <laughs> can you folks pit, pit, pitch me in school <laughs> I was like, yes i was i was i was that guy i was that kid like, anyways, 
moving on. So Be- Beverly, every time I see your name, you know, you have, um, I have nice memories because um, he ended up being a really wonderful teacher. Uh, next is at the Arma. Arma. Arma said, um, Harry and Meghan will be celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. And those clowns, you got that right. Those payasos will still be going on about how their marriage is on the rocks. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? I am quite concerned about what is happening with the Sussexes, you know. If you have not realized, they've been on a, 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 a vast majority of, 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 of separate engagements. And I am so absolutely concerned about the well being of both of them. Meghan Markle, the wife, was seen at a hair beauty salon. I can't even say it, but I will. She was seen selling hair products. Hair products. I, she has fallen so low that I do not think she could fall any lower. Now, Prince Harry, the man of the day, the century, and the man of my dreams. He was in Canada doing the work of a royal Invictus. What that indicates to me is that there will definitely be a separation that will be announced, pronounced, and denounced within the next two days. Thank you. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> I hope you folks know that this is just like it's not scripted at all. Like it literally, this insanity is in my head. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Anyways, I, 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 I am with you. There, there will absolutely be like saying nonsense. Oh yeah, yeah. Hi, Connie. Connie Bobber. So great to um, see you here, too. Um, and Connie is a member. Thank you for being a member. Thank you for always um, checking in and, and leaving messages and so on. I really appreciate it. And every time Connie goes to Barcelona, Connie tells me. So I, I, I get to say to Connie, can you please consume extra paella on my behalf? So you see how that works? She tells me she's in Barcelona, and I say, can you eat more paella on my behalf? Because it's so good. So good. Connie says, um, hello, Antonio. Enjoy the music and dance. Yes, it's a while. I was checking the channel. Thank you, Antonio, for the wonderful podcast. Listen to the end. Connie, I'm giving you a big virtual hug right now, like, like, like a big, 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 big hug. Um, I'm not going to do like that cartoon. What, what was her name? It was this cartoon I used to watch and she would like, and I love him and I squeeze him and I love him. And I love him so much. Mm. And she would like kill the poor animal <laughs> because she loved it so much. <laughs> I used to find that so funny. I don't know why I used to be like, oh my gosh, her love is so toxic. <laughs> she, her love is so toxic, but she, but she still loves though. That's the point. She still loves. Ah, thank you for um, going to, to from, from beginning to end, because I do actually, um, when I sit down to kind of decide how, what I'm going to talk about, I, I, I do have, which I think, right, like interesting things to still keep it going until the very end. But I understand people have very short attention span. And sometimes the way I may be telling the story or storytelling is not engaging enough. I understand that. And 
I, I try ever so often to change things a certain way or, or present it a certain way, just, just so I'm appealing to the different ways in which we learn and the different ways in which we um, accept information that is coming to us. But I totally, totally understand. They are more Sussex friendly channels and that makes me extremely happy. And I know so many of you are doing the work of God. I'm not kidding. Um, going out there, supporting every channel that you can and being just the awesome people that you are. And I really appreciate that because, you know, some, sometimes the way all of this is, um, even though we are a community, it can also feel as a creator very isolating because I'm in my little, I don't know, area trying to figure out what do I want to present to the folks that show up to this channel and continue to support it and, and, and be just absolutely amazing. So I want to just thank you all uh, for that. And again, Connie, thank you so, so, so very much. Um, pillar, pillar, I tell you. Um, I don't know, I'm getting emotional and I'm trying very hard not to like, um, yes. So next, uh, come to Cali, gal, come to Cali, gal, come to Cali, gal, bum, 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 <laughs> come to Cali girl says, um, or well, gal says, I open in podcast. Thank you. Majesty Sussex report. Uh, you're welcome. Absolutely welcome. Thank you for that. Um, I have to stop saying, ah, I don't realize I'm doing it. It's like, um, 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 what am I? Um, it's, it's, when I'm doing any, each and every one of these episodes, there is a lot of thought for me that, that goes into it because I know how talented the other, um, which I, I call them like my colleagues, content creators, how talented they are at what they do. And they do it so well, right? Um, whether it's, it's throwing shade or, or, or having a certain insights into certain things that makes us go, oh, wow, I didn't think about that, or have aha moments. And realizing that, we are all presenting in many ways the same thing. For me, it's important to be me, not try to imitate anyone, but to be me. And, and I found that what I can do best uh, now anyways is to look at whatever it is, find a theme, and try and understand what that what 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 the theme is right is it misogyny is it racism what is that that ultimate issue or thing that 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 surrounds the situation we're talking about and then from that angle try and present to you um why it is so and also try and find different angles because it might be we might be talking about <clears throat> character one over here, but there are different um, um, points that one can take and to develop the content. Wow, that sounded absolutely boring. Oh, like I just bored myself of that speech, of that like explanation. Oi, gee, like get a life. Uh, okay, next one. And this is a reply, uh, Pauline, Pauline McCullough, Mac Mac Pauline McCullough Bell. Ooh, that's, I like saying that, Bell. Uh, love your content, Antonio. Very special. Thank you. My mom tells me I'm special. So, <laughs> but sometimes she doesn't mean it in a good way. <laughs> Especially when I'm like being, being nonsensical. My mom would look at me and she'd, she'd be like, you know, sometimes you're so intelligent and other times you're just special. <laughs> like, mom, she's like, see, yes, you are, you are. But, but you, 
but you're mine. <laughs> you're my son. You, you're my special son. I know we laugh. Um, but anyways, thank you so very much. I, again, you know, I tried to do things a little bit different and um, present this a certain way. Uh, um, and for it to be something that I, I am proud of, right? And there are times where I'm like, ah, oh, I could have done better here. Well, not times. I always say that. Once it's uploaded, it's like, oh, I have a new idea. Oh, I should have added this. It always, always happens. Um, next is um, Essie. Essie, thank you so very much. Um, Essie says, thank you, Antonio, for the update. Essie's also one of those people that consistently always leaves comments and, and consistently um, supports this channel. Thank you so very, very much. I absolutely appreciate it. Uh, I give a shout out to Connie for being a member. I thought there was one other person that's also a member. Um, yeah, Sharon. Sharon A. Smith, um, thank you for being a member. Thank you for your um, consistent support and all of that. So that's it for comments over on this side. And TCC Sun, thank you so very much for your um, super thanks or super sticker or whatever we call them. Um, much appreciated. I thank you so very much. So just as I thought I was going to wrap things up, I saw that um, Arthur Edwards just completed an interview with The Sun with uh, that fantastic Matt, Matt uh, Wilkinson. You know what Matt reminds me of? You know those people who, you know the new white supremacist people, right? They're, 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 they're now with the best, latest haircut, right? Hairstyle all looking really as if they were like lawyers or something. They're, they're dressed very smartly. They're actually good looking. And you would never think that they're white supremacists until they open their mouth or they say whatever. That's who he reminds me of. You know, he just pretends that he just sits there and he's like, well, well what, what do you think? Um, um, why is it that Harry lately has seemed so, he seems so happy, doesn't he? And that was one of the questions, by the way. So um, Arthur Edwards, so they, 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 they went back and forth. The insinuation was that Harry lately has seemed so happy, like he, he's, he's back on, 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 on what he likes to do. And the, and the question was, well, why do you think that's happening? And the insinuation was made, basically, you folks know what's coming, right? Is that he, he is his distant distancing himself from Megan. She's the one who would bring him down. She's the one who would do this, 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 and this, right? These sexist, racist pigs. And um, he goes on to tell a story about how great Terry looks with the kids in Vancouver. That Harry's always done well with the kids. That the last engagement Arthur did with with Harry. Harry was at some school or something like that and the kids just just loved him and so on and then maddie over there um the guy who is is not a white supremacist but looks like one um he goes on to say well the last time i saw them was at the commonwealth and you know they were all puffed up and angry and, and uh, 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 shut up you waste of Anyways, um, then he goes on to talk about Queen Camilla, right? The concert. And he's like, she's done so many engagements. She's the hardest working royal. She works so hard. People just don't understand how, how much she puts in into her work. I checked, the woman has done like maybe 80 engagements this year. That's it, 80. And I, I don't even know if that number is, is, is right, right? But he goes on and on, and, and then he goes, you know, she's a very powerful figure now in the family. Oh, Arthur, we know that. Trust me, we know that. Um, what, is, what is, oh, he, he, he said 
she likely got the chest infection in 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 Samoa and then he went on to say you know it's amazing that she's in her 70s and she was so pleasant to all those people she was so nice to all of them and I'm thinking okay the way you're saying that as in she was nice to all those people hmm yeah I'm gonna read between the lines what he's implying there and just say yeah he means what he's implying there. she was nice to all those people and they give their chest infection because of poor thing right and then he goes on to talk about also to ask him a question about um, the, the king and he's like again that's what I'm saying I need him as a as a wingman maybe he goes the king is the most humblest man you'll ever ever meet he is kind he's always thinking as to what can he do for others he wakes up in the morning and the first thought he has I mean I was gonna I was gonna shed tears here now the man was talking about this person I was like is he talking about King Charles and then he goes to say, you know, we were in Kathmandu and we were we were on a visit there and there was this woman. She was she was a prostitute, you see. She was she was trafficked in India and and, and then she, she she looked to the king and and the king looked at me and said, We have to do something for this woman. I'm thinking, is 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 he for real? So according to his story, the woman, I don't know, I, I, she, she begged for help or something. And he basically, the King Charles looked at Andrew, oh, sorry, Arthur, and, and said, is there anything we can do? We must do something to help her. And I guess the son took pictures or a picture of, of um, Prince Charles at the time. And it was sold for I don't know how much money. And then they took that money and gave it to the woman. And she built this magnificent center for former people who were, you know, trafficked or something. And I'm not making fun of any of that. That is serious stuff. But this whole thing about his generosity and how he's helping people and he thinks about people every day and, 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 and he wakes up and says, well, is he thinking about his tenants? Does he think about his tenants that don't have heat this coming winter? His tenants that that there there's mold in the in 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 the build in the apartments that that he oh please right it's it's not even environmentally like insulated the way it's supposed to be. And if he's so generous and his generosity, why doesn't he need to take some of his billions and and? Or, 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 not, or not even take it. How, how, how about he just like just says, you know, for the next 10 years, I want nothing from the um, sovereign grant. Oh, come on. Come on, Arthur. The inter interesting thing is how these people do end up telling on themselves, right? So um, the question was asked about security at Windsor. And I find it fascinating, this whole security breach and you know harry has said many times there's there's you know fine if people think it's secure i know that m my life is not going to be secure if i sit one of these palaces and i'm not given the guarantee of of certain type of security it's f so funny to me that there's a security breach and not one of them have said oh you know maybe prince harry has some reasons here. Not one of them. Not even Arthur. And the last time I saw Arthur, he was he was <laughs> almost spitting on the thought of Harry saying that you know the UK is not secure for him and his family. How dare he? Then here's the interesting another interesting thing. So the question was asked, well, which which royal do you think would get a tattoo? And he said, oh well, of course, Prince Harry. You know, Prince Harry would obviously he would get one. And then the next question was, um, if you were a burglar, which royal would you not want to meet up with? And he goes, 
But William, of course, William, he, he's got a temper. See how they're telling themselves? You see how they're eventually telling themselves? It's the most fascinating thing. Because if this discussion was, oh, the, the, the argument or, or, or the fight between William and um, Harry, where William, you know, um, was the aggressor, I'm sure the answer would have been, but, but, but no, you know, William, William would never do something like that. He, he's, he's, he gets, he has a little bit of temper, but, but, but I mean, you really have to do something horrible for him to get upset at you. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. An entire industry, an entire industry, which employs quite a lot of people. Their job is just to protect and elevate and storytell these fantasies about the royal family. Gee, oh well, it is what it is. And with um, author Edwards there, um, I say adieu. I'll see you folks um, later. Be kind to yourself, okay? Be good. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Be kind. Um, be kind to your loved ones. And to strangers that pass through your path, be kind to them. Never know. Thank you. I uh, will be posting, I think, um, more shorts and stuff. So do check it out. Do like it. Uh, because it, it 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 does help. I'm trying to do some things a little bit more, a little different, a little bit more. I don't know. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not risque, but a more provocative, a little bit. Um. Yeah. Thank you. I love you, folks. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all, and um, thank you each day for the opportunity you gave me to do this. Merci, gracias, adiós.